Hi. Now, in this particular video, what I want to do is prove to you a well-known result for complex numbers expressed in modulus argument form. And I've got two complex numbers here, say Z1 and Z2. And the result I want to prove to you is that the modulus of the product of Z1 and Z2 is equal to the modulus of Z1 multiplied by the modulus of Z2. Or in other words, it equals R1 times R2. And when it comes to finding the argument of Z1 multiplied by Z2, the arg of Z1 times Z2 is equal to the arg of Z1 plus the arg of Z2. Or theta1 plus theta2. Now this is something obviously that you need to remember but if you're called upon to be able to prove this then here's the proof. Now if we take those two complex numbers z1 equaling r1 multiplied by cos theta1 plus i sine theta1 and z2 equaling r2 multiplied by cos theta2 plus i sine theta2 then if we multiply them together then we've got the two complex numbers up here being multiplied together. Okay, so if we just multiply this out now, we've got R1 times R2, and we'll just put this at the front here, R1, R2, and we can expand the brackets, and we're going to get cos theta1 times cos theta2, so cos theta1, cos theta2, and then cos theta1 plus i sine theta2, so we have plus i cos theta1 sine theta2. And then we've got i sine theta1 multiplied by cos theta2, so that's plus, again, i sine theta1 cos theta2. And finally, we've got plus i squared times sine theta 1, sine theta 2. Well, i squared is going to be negative 1, so we can just write that as minus, then sine theta 1, sine theta 2. And we'll just complete that bracket. Now, if we to group up the real parts and the imaginary parts, what we're going to have then is that this is equal to r1, r2, and then for the real parts, we've got a real part here, cos theta 1, cos theta 2. And then we've got a real part here, minus sine theta 1, sine theta 2. Then we've got the imaginary parts, these two parts here. So we can pull out i as a common factor. And then we've just got cosine theta 1, sine theta 2. I'm going to write this term first. You'll see why in a moment, okay? Write it as sine theta 1 cos theta 2. Not that it really matters, but uh, we'll just do it that way around. Plus cos theta 1 sine theta 2. Okay? Now do you recognize anything here? Well, can you see this pattern here? cos theta 1, cos theta 2, minus sine theta 1, sine theta 2. You should be familiar with your expansions, your trig identities. The cosine of two angles added together, cos of A plus B, this is identical, do you remember, to the cos of A, cos B, minus sine A, sine B. And so if A is theta 1 and B is theta 2, you can see it matches up, then this is exactly the same as the cosine of all of theta 1 plus theta 2. And what about this one down here? Do you recognize this pattern structure? Well, this is the identity, the sine of A plus B. Remember, the sine of A plus B is identical to the sine of A cos B plus, and then it's cos A sine B. 
And that's what we've got here. Again, A matches up with theta 1 and B matches up with theta 2. Okay? So, we can re-express this in a much more simplified form. We can think of this then as R1 multiplied by R2 and then we have got the cosine or cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 for this section here. And then for this section we've got the plus i and then we've got the sine of theta 1 plus theta 2. So what we've got here now is that z1, z2 is expressed in modulus argument form. It's identical to r cos of theta, say, plus i sine theta. Remember, r is the modulus of a complex number and theta is the argument of the complex number. So what we've got here then is that the modulus of z1 times z2 is equal to r1 times r2 which is the modulus of z1 multiplied by the modulus of z2. Or in other words r1 times R2. And also we've got the other result, that is that the argument, or arg for short, of Z1 multiplied by Z2 is equal to theta1 plus theta2. Or in other words, the arg of Z1 plus the arg of Z2 which equals, as I say, theta1 plus theta2. Alright? Okay, well that brings us now to the end of this particular proof, and I hope you've been able to follow it.